Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is the 4th? 5th. Today is Sunday, April 5th. I missed putting out a video yesterday because we were super busy all day. Me and Devin and Jesse, we did a bunch of house chores that's been piling up, and we were doing stuff in our little garden spot outside, getting it all ready. I pulled a bunch of weeds out of our front um, sidewalk area, <laughs> and we were just busy all day, and uh, didn't I didn't think to record. But anyways, last time I was talking to you guys about my crochet stuff, I was had started a shawl called the uh, Fringe Triangle Shawl by Melody Crochet. And um, I didn't have the right size hook that I was comfortable using, so I went down a hook. and But I neglected to chain more. <laughs> so it was coming out really small. And I, I did about 8 or 9 or 10 uh, rows back and forth, and I just realized it was coming out way too small. So I did have to frog it. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> but um, that's okay. I'm going to finish winding this skein into a ball because I like working from balls better um they just seem to pull better for me and then I'm gonna start over I'm gonna still use this smaller hook which I think I was using a J I'm just gonna chain more I think their first chain was like 120 or something like that I'm just gonna chain a whole bunch more so that the shawl comes out bigger but I did like the pattern it was super quick and easy and mindless and um didn't take any concentration at all. You just learn the row repeat and then just do it over and over and over until it decreases all the way down to a point. But I did finish one crochet thing today. I made another dishcloth. Can't you can't see the colors? I'm in the bedroom. Jesse and Devin are in the living room. This is a uh, I love this yarn cotton that I got at our thrift store. It's like a um, like a cream color maybe, and it's got little green and brown flecks in it. You can kind of see right there and i use like a um a puff stitch this is just a pattern that i kind of you know i made up in my head i didn't follow any other pattern and i am actually going to be making a video tutorial of this dishcloth and another one that i use all the time uh, i was asked to make both of them so i'm gonna make them whenever i can get a chance to record when jesse's not here which may be a while because of the whole quarantine thing <laughs> but um or when Devin's here too and he could take him outside or something and let me record they're super quick and easy and uh when they whip up real fast all you got to do is um, chain, single crochet, puff stitch, and that's all it is. And uh, I'll explain how to do the puff. My, my fingernails is chipping off real bad. It's those stickers. I got them at Walmart forever ago, and I just finally used them since we have nothing else better to do. And now they're peeling off, so I got to take them off. <laughs> but yeah, so I finished this one, and I still have some of this yarn left. I was trying to use up the whole ball. Uh, I don't know if it's enough to make another dishcloth, at least this pattern, because of the puffs. But I'll try to make uh, either another dishcloth or some face scrubbies or something. I'll try to figure out something to use it with. And um, then I'm going to get started on this shawl. I'm just going to make it bigger, like I said. And uh, hopefully I can have some of that to show you guys in a few days. Probably not tomorrow. Because it's already evening here. It's almost 7. And we've had dinner and everything. We just came in from outside. We were outside playing a whole lot in the yard. And then after um, some of our neighbors came out to the yard, so, you know, to social distance, we just came up the yard a little bit instead of down in the bottom where the playground is. We came up to our porch and we sat out there. Jesse played with his bumbles. Devin played his guitar and I sat there and was crocheting this. <laughs> and um, I had lost my weaving and needles, but I finally found them. So I wove in the ends on this and now I need to go weave in the ends on my poncho that I finished because I wasn't able to do the ends until today. I misplaced my needles and they're all together in one container and <laughs> I just split them up into a couple of different um, containers. But yeah, so that's what I was working on today. And I want to get this shawl started and then hopefully um, have something else to show you guys tomorrow. That is crochet E. I got all my orders um, in the mailbox today. Uh, all the ones that weren't already dropped off. I dropped off some yesterday, I think Saturday. And uh, yeah. I'm thinking about making some more crap bags. I got some fabric and some interfacing and some of the fixtures still. So I think I might dig around in my fabric, see if I can find any cute patterns to make crab bags with. And I know I got some more uh, fabric that I can make more project bags with. I'm out of zippers and I can't order any because the ones I order have been out of stock every time I look. I guess a lot of people are crafting at home right now. So I keep checking to see if they put them back in stock and they've been out. So, um... Uh, I think I'm just going to work on what I have, which is the crab bags and the project bags, and just use up some more of my stash. I ain't got nothing better to do. The house is about as clean as it's going to get because me and Devin cleaned a lot this morning. And, uh, yeah, Devin's going back to work. He's still working. They keep finding odd jobs for him to do. Him and another guy are the only two that's still working uh, his shift. 
and so he's going to be working. He's supposed to work all this next week, but I don't know if he's going to be off because of the holiday. Uh, Good Friday and then uh, Easter's on Sunday. I don't know. I'll just, we'll see. <laughs> and um, we already got stuff here for Jesse's Easter. I bought it a couple weeks ago when this stuff started getting really bad because I figured it would still be bad for Easter. So we have candy and eggs and everything for him. So we can do a little egg hunt here. And, um, although, you know, he wouldn't know the difference. He doesn't know how to read a calendar. That's the way I feel about his birthday too. Cause his birthday is May 1st. Mine's May 7th. And the way things are looking, we're probably not gonna be able to do anything for either of our birthdays. So, um, what I think we'll do is we're just not going to mention it and we can have his birthday party a little while later and he won't know the difference. So, uh, cause we already got his party decorations. I ordered them a couple months ago because, uh, the website I ordered them from was having a really good sale and I got it all super cheap. So yeah, I think we'll just postpone our birthdays until we can celebrate them. And our anniversary is coming up. Mine and Devin's first year anniversary of being married is on the 27th of April and we're not gonna be able to do anything for it either, but that's okay. I just want us to be safe and healthy and get through all this stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to hop off because they're in there watching TV and I'm going to go watch it with them. And I'm going to start on this shawl maybe tonight. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.